the Kipnis, who is a great, let's say, friend of the channel. We know him a little bit. He released this meme on Twitter last week, and now everyone is calling him racist. But, Byron, the problem with South Africa is KFC does run elections. So whenever you say in South Africa that the election is bought with a bucket of chicken, you're called racist. Because remember, blacks don't just enjoy KFC, and you can't just buy a vote with a bucket of KFC and a t-shirt. Come on, that's demeaning of people. Unless you go to an ANC rally, in which case it's 100% true. Exactly. It's like, it's like something is so racist, but if you actually go to an ANC election rally or, you know, anything to do with, if I may say, our black brethren in South Africa, fried chicken is a key feature of that, be it a funeral, an election rally, or whatever, a manifesto launch. Fried chicken is great. It tastes good. It looks good. Why would people hate fried chicken? I don't really understand. And to associate fried chicken with being blacks and buying votes in South Africa, that would be racist. But we can't say that Kipnis is racist if he's literally describing what is literally happening at election rallies. You may say, well, why would you say that? You two are sounding very racist. It sounds like you, you just don't like black people enjoying some KFC. Uh, no, we're literally saying it because in this clip, you can clearly see some individuals went to an ANC rally and fought over KFC. There are literal pictures of people thanking the president for providing them with their KFC lunches. Dude, if you don't want a stereotype, don't embrace it. But there's also, of course, another problem with this. There's, there's a woman who used to be at the DA. I'm not going to call her name because then, you know, Satan comes out the cupboard behind me. Uh, she used to be at the DA. She's a completely off her meds in terms of anxiety meds. She moved overseas to Europe. And then she comes out and says this. You see, Byron, you take the DA out of someone and become a horrible racist. <laughs> you see, the DA stops you from being racist. This is a great, great advert for the DA just for the election, don't you think? This woman, though, is just absolutely horrid. For those of you who don't know who she is, she's basically the DA member of parliament who walked up to a young man in the middle of uh, the BNA waterfront and decked him one because, you know, racism and stuff. And when they tried to go out and actually hold her accountable for, you know, that thing we have in law called assault, she said, oh, laws, that's a colonial construct and racism. How could you clearly do that? I mean, look at the white supremacy here in the Western Cape in this DA province of which I'm a member of parliament for. Anyway, I mean, logic was never her strong point. No, it, it really wasn't. But uh, since she's left the DA, she's just turned out to be a huge, horrible racist against her own people. Who would have thought? But... I don't know where to go from here. I mean, I wonder, literally, what do we say? We've got three, we're three minutes in. That's a push the story, mate. That's the problem. I know. It's so just like, they're buying the election with KFC. Like, I don't know. So you see the problem here, Ramon, is that the ANC doesn't really know what to tell anybody anymore. Like, you're going to go to an ANC rally and they're going to say, what? We promise you jobs. Like, everybody's going to be like, oh, of course you do. I mean, even Paul Machatilo went on TV and said, guys, I, I promise you, like, load shedding is going to be over soon. He's like, but I know you don't believe me. Like, of course we don't believe you. So let's face it, why would anybody even bother going to these rallies anymore? I mean, nobody wants to get lied to. So if you're not getting a KFC bucket and a t-shirt, like, why would you go? I don't see why you'd even bother. I mean, it's a bit like when white people go to a book club. You don't really give a shit about the book club, right? You want to go because there's wine. And like a bit of cheese and like maybe like a bit of, you know, camembert on a cracker with some fig jam on it. Like that, that, that's why I go, to be honest. The book, like, like who cares about the book? <laughs> and who else is going to be there? But, you know, a wine, some cheese, maybe some port, maybe some sherry. I'm there in a flash. Just think about it that way. So, you know, KFC can determine an election and like cheese determines book sales. Absolutely. And, you know, this now is becoming the hallmark of the South African election. ANC really doesn't have a lot to offer to anybody. I know they're about to lose control over, like, well, everything, for good reason. But they still need people to seem like they're slightly interested in the political party, right? So we are seeing this up and down the country. I don't know if you saw Ramon. Ramaphosa also went out and he sat down with some poor guys and basically said, so tell me, what's it like? Living in South Africa, I mean, apart from the KFC and the T-shirts. The guy says, um, actually, it's pretty shit. I, I, I need some toilets, I need a job, and I need this, and I need that. And Roman Pauza basically said, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sounds hard. Um, anyway, gotta go. <laughs> like, that was his answer, man. Like, 
Raposa is literally like, thoughts and prayers, guys. Mr. President, I need a job. Like, keep looking. You, you'll get there. Mr. President, I need a fridge. Ugh, ask your boss. He will give you one. <laughs> everyone, everyone else, thoughts and prayers, guys. There's nothing I can do. But thanks for coming. <laughs> Here's your KFC did you bucket? get your KFC bucket? <laughs> uh, election 2024, mate. <laughs> election 2024.